So, my very good friends at Pex Peppers, my good friend Garrett, sent me um, some of this cross. Now this is uh, claimed to be a Carolina Reaper cross with a seven pot brain string. And honestly, I have no idea if that's the truth. It, it, that's the truth. If it is, I'm in, for, in some serious trouble. So, see the pod itself. It's a little bit bumpy on the top like a brain. Um, I don't know. Some of the off phenotype uh, reapers kind of sort of looked like this last year. Um, tiny little tail maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure about this one. So, I'll have a look inside and uh, see what's inside. Well, that's an oily bugger too. Mm, I think I'm in trouble. There's a few little deposits of oil in there, mainly on the placenta and around the placenta. A very pungent smell. It's very pungent. Um, to me it smells a bit boot-like to be honest, but um, I don't know. I have no idea. So I guess I'll eat it and tell you what I think. The smell is it, it's very reminiscent to it does it smells like there's boot in there. It, it's not full on boot. Um but it does have some of those bootish uh aromas that are very typical to boots and, and to nagas I guess. Alright let's see. So I think you just saw in the short little introduction that we have a hybrid here that is thought to be the Carolina Reaper crossed with a seven foot brain strain which if true would make an absolutely stunning and insanely hot cross I'm sure. So let's see here's, here's the beast it, is, uh, it does have some seven pottiness brain strain on the top, um, but I'm not convinced from the smell, it actually smells a little bit like uh, a boot. So, let me steal myself and then cheers. Wow, that's incredibly sweet. There's definitely a boot in that. Now it's bitter. It's gone from very, very sweet to very bitter. Well, oh, that's nasty. <coughs> Just like plastic. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's a really nasty part. That's one of the nastiest pots I've ever eaten. Well, the heat is pretty, it's pretty strong. Oh, it's floral, perfumey, bitter. It's just unpleasant. And the heat's now coming on quite strong. There's a lot of boot flavour in there. But it's not just boot. It's really starting to heat up now. God, that's hot. 
Oh, that's so disgusting. Ugh. It's all tongue burn. My tongue is just absolutely on fire. Oh. Sweating buckets. Just all tongue burn. That's really, really aggressive. Really nasty burn. And it's getting hotter. Okay, it was really quite hot. I'm just starting to get a bit of an endorphin rush now. Uh, crying. It's lots and lots of saliva. And my tongue is just absolutely on fire. It's a hot pot. Definitely in the super hot range. I'm starting to get quite an endorphin rush too. <coughs> it's all staying on my tongue. Still on its way up, good lord. Very shaky. Um, start to get lightheaded. My feet are really tingling. Buzz on it, it's very aggressive. It really is a nasty burn. to say really other than that's a huge endorphin rush very 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 aggressively hot pot oh, just about peak now that really hurts very back of my tongue really really hurts up oh, that's incredible let's go into the back of my throat now Very lightheaded. It's definitely a boot cross. I, I would bet. I would bet a lot of money that's a boot cross. Whether it's a boot with a reaper or a boot with a brain, I don't know. Back of my throat now is absolutely dying. It's so painful.
Reminds me a lot of a seven pot savannah. And that it's very hot, very, very painful. Still got a huge endorphin rush. Definitely tanking now, it's really starting to, to go down. Now it's just really painful. God, that really hurts a lot. The back of my tongue, the back of my throat are just killing me. Yeah, the pain levels are really quite extraordinary. That's why it reminds me so much of a savannah. Right, it's on its way down really quickly now. I'm still shaking like a leaf though. Sweating a lot. So it's funny, the, the initial flavor of the pot was incredibly sweet for about five seconds and then it just went horribly bitter. That's the, one of the worst tasting pods I've ever had. Oh. <clears throat> Floral, perfumey, very bitter. Very, very hot and extremely painful. really hurts every time I swallow it's just like this big massive increase in pain at the back of my throat but the aftertaste is all boot I can't taste anything else it's the aftertaste it's pure boot now that's not a boot a pure boot pod not a chance Um, if I was to bet, it's more aggressive, like a reaper, than it is like a brain strain. <coughs> but it also burns somewhat more like a reaper than it does a brain strain. Yeah, it's, it's nearly gone now. Um, Feel like I have swollen lips, but well, she'll see if it damages my stomach. It's probably a Reaper. <laughs> Those things are like gut bombs to me. Well, that was quite a ride. <laughs> so, that was the potential Reaper with a brain strain. I, so, that was a potential Reaper cross with a brain strain. I don't think that it is. Um, there's definitely boot and jalokia in there. I guess or Nagamorage. But it could well be a, a reaper cross with a boot or a naga. Um, that would be my guess rather than a brain strain. But um, it would be a guess, nothing more. So, this is Nigel Carter. I'm going to go and sit down for a bit. Um, thanks very much to Garrett Peck and I'll see you all soon. Bye.